Okay, today I am, I planted tulips and daylilies, and it's November 25th because I did not want them to um, go bad, not being in the ground. So, I'm going to show you a few things in the book. This is the Flower and Gardening, Gardener's Bible for flowers. Okay, tulips have to, people's, one of people's mistakes is they don't plant them deep enough. Right here is how deep different flowers bulbs have to be when you plant them. And as you can see, the tulip is way down here, one of the deeper ones. So, and the tulip is like seven in, seven inches down. So I planted them right here, seven inches down. So I planted them at least seven inches. Okay, tulip. Okay, tulip does say six. Okay, it says six inches. I probably did six or deeper. And then it's got the different ones. It's got the, um, what are they called? Crocus and stuff. There are only four. Grape hyacinths are three. Snowdrops are three. The deepest one, it looks like, is a lily. Not a day lily, but a lily. And they're almost eight. So they have a lot of that. So I plant, so that's not, and I plant a day lily. So it gives you the different kinds they have. Um, caring and division. So this is how you, they're showing you how to divide your plants. They dig them up and divide them. Mine are this kind. My bulbs weren't this big. We're all just closer to the thing. But I planted these. Are the day lily bulbs. That's what they look like. They're a group. And then and, it's a, and, it's, and it is a fall chore. It, you know, we've had snow and stuff, but it's still fall until December 20th or whatever it is. But this book tells you how to prune and how to do everything. But today, what I did was planted bulbs for daylilies, which is like a group of bulbs. And then my tulip bulbs, because when I dug up the front yard to plant my mums, which is a fall blooming flower, I dug up a bunch of tulips. And when you, when your tulips stop blooming, because I heard this from a place in Holland, Michigan, the lady there says if they stop blooming, dig them up because that means they made a bunch of babies. So I had like at least 30 or 40 that I dug up in just a small area of tulips. So I planted them, where I'm going to show you on the video, and then I planted some in a different area in the video because there were so many. So that's cool. So if, they, if your tulips stop blooming, dig them up and take them apart because that means they have a, they're like a, a group and they're not supposed to be to bloom so take them apart because all their energy is going to making more tulips baby ones so you take them apart and you plant them all separate and then they'll bloom so anyways continue watching day lilies and stuff so they don't go bad this is what the day lilies look like this is their bulb system <clears throat> and then my tulips because when i planted the um mums i ended up digging up a whole bunch of stuff so this is full of tulips, <clears throat> and if you don't, if your tulips quit blooming, just dig them up and separate them because that means they made a bunch of babies and they're not going to bloom because they're concentrating on making babies. So there's a whole bunch in here, and these are daylilies I had to divide anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set the daylilies up in here, and probably a couple, two or three tulips in each one, and then we're going to put more of this dirt on top of them and then hopefully they just winter over and bloom in the spring because they're perennials they come back every year so that's what I'm gonna do because like tulips have to harden over the they have to have that hardness from the winter to bloom since we never got to my raised beds in here I'll have plenty of dirt because that's when I got those a dollar bag when they were on clearance so I'm going to do these. Got my garlic done. Time to do these and my husband will be out to help me with the dirt. Okay. We do have the tulips and the daylilies in here. My husband came out and put bags of dirt on top of them for me. 
to give them a better winterization for winter so they will come back in the spring. My garlic over there is all done. Put all the dirt on. My watchers, making sure I'm safe. She's so funny. Or else I'm protecting her and I'm not sure. But I do have like five or six tulip bulbs I gotta put somewhere, so I didn't want to overdo these ones. Something's still eating my kale. I don't know what it is. I think it's a squirrel. It's the only thing I caught on the camera was a squirrel. So yeah. And my hands are just beautiful. It's cold out here because there's ice in this bucket. But the, most of the snow is gone right now. Bailey, sit. Sit. She wants to smell my hands. Okay, there's my messy table I was working at. Okay, I planted the rest of the garlic right there under that bucket. So I left the bucket there. Hopefully it don't blow away. So I can remember. I should tag it. But there is like 10 tulips there. So I just move it around before spring. I just don't want squirrels and stuff to come dig it up right now. Like Bailey sniffing. Bailey, quit sniffing. That's my herbs still going right there. We got some parsley, rosemary, some lemon thyme, all right there still. It's going to be harvested. We have to look behind this mess over there. 